What to Do About Your Addiction to Dating Apps by www.cbernoviasgo.com Are you getting tired of the hectic pace of dating that comes from using dating apps? Are you having trouble quitting these tools? If you say yes to both questions, you are not alone. Mashable says we are becoming tired of dating apps but can't quit them. The results of Match's annual Singles in America survey have just been released and they reveal a population that is increasingly burned out on hunting for love online. The data shows that 15% of the 5,509 Signal people surveyed describe themselves as addicted to dating apps, not just like I use them a lot, fully addicted, as in I can't put them down even though the thrill is gone and they're driving me crazy. This is not leading to the death of online dating because 40% of those surveyed dated someone they met online in the previous year. But there is a subset of folks who get addicted to the pace of these tools and find it hard to quit despite their increasing dislike. The problem is worse with millennials who are more than 100% more likely to be addicted and burned out with dating apps and men who are substantially more likely than women to admit addiction to these tools. Remember what we said about internet dating fantasy? When you go online to look for a date, are you looking for someone to have a good time with or is it an internet dating fantasy? Both are possible because of the way the internet works. Internet dating sites allow a person to greatly increase the number of persons they can meet. Dating sites allow one to select criteria for who you want to meet and put your own bio out there in order to attract attention. In addition, the internet provides us with a comfortable degree of anonymity. We can tell just part of our story, or simply post fictitious life stories. We can live an internet dating fantasy by representing ourselves as someone else. If two people like to play the internet dating fantasy game, it is likely that no one will get hurt. Meet someone on a dating site who appears to be exaggerating all of the time. Call their bluff and tell a few tall tales yourself. It can turn into an enjoyable game. However, this assumes that both persons know that it is a game. If one person buys the story, so to speak, they can get hurt. Falling in love with someone on the internet and then finding out that they have not been telling the truth is painful. For a teenage girl who thinks she is chatting online with a teenage boy, it can be dangerous if her boyfriend is a 40-year-old married man playing out an internet dating fantasy. In short, if you use internet dating to find someone you like and fall in love with, you will probably be happy and have other things in your life that will make you happy. If you view dating and the use of dating apps like a sport, you will probably end up addicted to the app and sitting alone at the end of the bar playing your dating app while the world and the potential love of your life pass you by. For more insights and useful information about online dating and developing as well as keeping relationships, visit www.cibernoviasgo.com.